and see him? Down there! The poor little thing! Oh, he can't swim against the current! We have to help him! I see the problem! He's hurt his tail! Are you trying to get to the coral caves? <laughs> what did he say? I don't know. It doesn't sound good. We'll never make it home against this storm. Maybe he should come home with us. Forget the maybe. He has to come home with us. <laughs> it's okay. We'll look after you. Let's move, huh? This storm's getting worse. Mother! Mother! Where are my parents? I hope they're not outside in the storm. There's a note, Hester. Your mother and father have gone to visit Tuberina's family. Good. At least they'll be safe. What about this little fellow? We should find something for him to rest in. I got it. Spiky's bed. It'll be perfect. You don't mind, do you? Thanks, Spiky. I knew you wouldn't. Here, little fish. Try this out. I think he likes it. Oh, what about his tail? We should try and fix it. How do we do that? I've done a first aid course. I can do it. Spiky, please, you're in the way. Can you bring me a first aid kit? Coming up. Don't worry, little butterfly fish. We'll take care of you. There. Does that feel better? I wish I knew the language of butterfly fish. Relax, Polvina. He's happy. Look. <laughs> Easy does it. You'll have to take it slowly until you're well, right? <laughs> The storm won't hurt you in here. You're safe with us. Spiky, you've been in a storm before. Don't be silly. <laughs> hey, his stomach just rumbled. Sounds like someone is hungry. I'm way ahead of you, Polvina. What do you mean? I already put this bowl of seaweed together. It's all yours, little friend. Wow, he really is hungry. Don't be greedy, Spiky. Your meal time's hours away. You know what? After the storm's over, I think I should take him back to my place. My room is so much bigger. What difference would that make? Well, we'd have a whole lot more space to move around. It'd help him with his recovery. He's got plenty of space here. I'm only saying... I know what you're saying, and it's not necessary. Actually, if he's going to go anywhere, he should come with me. With you? He needs proper care and attention, and I'm the only one who's done a first aid course. I almost did that course! Me too! But you didn't, did you? Which means he should stay with me. No, he shouldn't. He's too sick to move, so he should stay right here. Honestly, Esther, why does everything always have to be done your way? My way? Ha! Look who's talking! <laughs> Stop it, both of you! She started it. No, I did not. You started it. It doesn't matter who started it. We should be thinking about what's best for the little fish. I agree, which is why I think he should come home with me. I think he should stay here. Why don't we ask the fish what he wants? And just how do we do that? We don't speak his language, remember? We can at least try. Maybe he'll understand. Suit yourself. Oh, where is he? Little fish? What happened to him? He ran away! Why would he do that? Let's not worry about that now. We have to find him! Little friend! Where are you? Hello? Butterfly fish! Would he be 
Maybe try to leave and go home? He'd never make it with his sore tail. Let's split up and check out the whole place. Spiky, you help us look too. Little friend! Come to us! We only want to help you! Little friend! Where are you? <laughs> Where could he be? What did we do to make him run away? Whatever it was, we didn't mean it. Spiky, did you find him? <laughs> what? What's the matter? What did he say? He's outside. Are you sure? <laughs> oh no! That means he'll be caught in the storm. Come on! You saved the little fish. But I, I don't understand how he got outside in the first place. All that matters is that everyone is safe. But it does prove that this place is too dangerous. The little fish should come home with me. Let's not start that again. What's the matter? Oh, he looks upset. I don't think he likes us arguing about him. That must be why he ran away. Oh dear, it was all our fault. We're sorry. We didn't mean to upset you. And now we're going to agree on what to do, aren't we? I think he's saying he wants to go. Oh. Oh, I, I guess he is saying that. If you're sure that's what you want. <laughs> Okay, then we'll do everything we can to help. Spiky too. As soon as the storm passes, we'll take you straight home. We promise. Look at the mess the storm made. <laughs> Messy or not, our little friend is happy to be home. Careful, you're still not completely better. It was nice to meet you, little fish. We're glad we could help you. If you ever need anything, you know where we are. Bye! Oh, he really is happy to be home. We thought we knew what was best for him, but he knew all along. And it didn't help that we argued so much. I'm sorry for some of the things I said today. Me too. Same here. Although, I'm sure he would have loved my room. To Marina. Okay, okay, only joking. Come on, race you home. You're on. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Spiky, I know I fussed a lot over the little fish, but he'd never, ever take your place, right? Great. Come on, then. Let's beat those other two home. <laughs> Way to go, Spiky! Marcella and Hugo had been practicing? They have, and they've got better. This is better? <laughs> <laughs> Alvina, what do you think? Uh, uh, yeah, they're great. Huh? You're really coming along, Hugo and Marcello. Keep it up. Thank, Thank you, you Miss Marla. Marla. Did you hear that? Miss Marla said we were good. I didn't hear her say that. She mightn't have actually said it, but that's what she meant. Cool. Polvina, Tuberina, Esther, your rehearsal is next. Polvina? One, two, three. <gasps> We were supposed to play together, Polvina. Uh, there's a problem. I've... You've what? Got a cough! <laughs> Bad cough. Can't play with a cough. When did this start? Uh, just now. <laughs> but you haven't been coughing before. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. If I wasn't sure, I wouldn't be saying it, would I? What was that all about? Beats me. But I do know that that's the worst fake cough I've ever heard. We're worried about you, Polvina. Yeah. What really happened at rehearsal yesterday? What do you mean? That coughing stuff. Oh, the cough. It's much better now, if you say so. Hmm. Glad to hear it. So can we do some practice now? We've got the last dress rehearsal tonight. And the school concert tomorrow night. Yeah, sure. Lead off, Esther. One, two, three. so wonderfully. What happened? That's what we've got to find out, Father. Right now. I've never seen Polvina like this. Something is seriously wrong. For someone so smart, Polvina can act really weird sometimes. Maybe she's embarrassed by it, whatever it is. Listen. <gasps> this way. Her playing's perfect. Where did the cough go? The cough didn't go anywhere because there is no cough. Then why is she pretending? You know something? Polvina's playing was great until we did the rehearsal in front of people. And she was great today until your father came in. That must be it. She's scared of an audience. Shake it stage fright! What should we say to her? Nothing yet. Let's work on an idea for the last rehearsal tonight. Oh, you're finished? Thank goodness. I mean, thank you, boys. Thank you, Miss Marla. Miss Marla thinks we're fantastic, Hugo. I don't know. Trust me, I can see it in her eyes. She's speechless. What's keeping Polvina? Esther, Tuberina, Polvina, you're on. Polvina's late, Miss Marla. 
But she'll she'll be here soon. Maybe we could go on after Julia and Jesse. All right, but she'd better be ready to go on straight after them. She will, Miss Marla. Sorry I'm late. Have we missed our spot? It's okay. We've got some time. Great. It is great, because now we have some time to talk. Talk? About what? About stage fright. Stage fright? Who gets stage fright? We're not saying anyone gets stage fright. But if one of us did... We have this idea. What idea? Instead of freezing in front of the audience, you... Oh, uh, I mean, whichever one of us gets stage fright... Should start to move around the stage and not look at the audience looking at you. That's a very good idea. Bovina to Barina, Esther. You're on, please. Ready and a one, two, three. <gasps> move, Bovina, move. Move. At least she didn't freeze. Oh. Polvina! Polvina! I'm over here. What went wrong? Everything. I have to confess, I get stage fright. But why? I don't know why. But once I see the audience looking at me, I freeze up. What are you scared of? Making a mistake? Doing something stupid that makes everyone laugh at me? You won't make a mistake. You're the best player of all of us. It's no good. I've tried, but I can't do it. I'm sorry, but you'll have to do the concert without me. No way! It's all three of us or nothing. Then maybe it's going to have to be nothing. Polvina, I promise you right now that you will not get stage fright. How can you promise that? I can and I will. Um, we will. Isn't that right, Tiverina? We will? You bet. Polvina, you just have to give us your word that you'll be there tomorrow night. But come on. One promise deserves another. <sighs> All right, then. Good. See you there, Polvina. How can you promise you won't get stage fright? What's the plan? I don't have one. But you promised. You made me promise, too. So we'll just have to come up with something, won't we? Esther, if you weren't my friend, I could really dislike you sometimes. Come on, think. I am thinking. Oh, we've been here all day trying to come up with an idea. It's useless. But we promised. You promised. <laughs> Yes, Spikey. Very good. But we don't have time to watch now. We have a crisis. A crisis created by Esther. <laughs> oh, all right. We'll watch. But be quick, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's very good, Spikey. It's not that good. He is only juggling two balls. And now himself. How about that? Oh, I take it back. Spiky, you're great. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Spiky. But it was pretty good. Keep practicing. <sighs> Pity we couldn't have Spiky on stage with us. No one would laugh at Polvina. They'd all be laughing at him. <gasps> That's an idea. Don't be crazy. We can't take Spiky on stage. We don't need Spiky. We can do it ourselves. Tuberina, you're brilliant. I am? You hear that, Hugo? That's a happy audience. Happy that they finally finished. <laughs> so many people. They're all going to be looking at us. Where are you going? We're on next. I forgot something. Forgot what? That I got stage fright? We promised that you won't get stage fright. And we're keeping that promise. But too late, Polvina. Here comes the announcement. It's now my pleasure to introduce Polvina, Esther, and Tuberina. <laughs> it's happened. You know what to do. And a one, two, three. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, sorry, everybody. Oh, we'll start again. 
You just make big fools of yourselves. Exactly. So nothing you do will be worse than that, right? So relax and be cool. Glutes up, everyone. Ready? And a one, two, three. Thank you, girls, for that beautiful music. And now, for the twirling twins, Jessie and Julie. That was amazing! We did it! We told you we'd keep our promise by making yourselves look silly. Even you two, Verena. It was my promise, too. Only really good friends would have done that. How can I ever thank you? Uh, actually, there is something you can do for us. For everyone. Anything. Just name it. Lessons? Who needs lessons? We're already perfect. But with some lessons, you'll be even better than perfect. And you could be picked up for the big inter-school concert. Miss Marla said that? Well, she doesn't need to say it. It's obvious she knows talent when she sees it. Right. Okay, we'll do the lessons. Let's just hope this teacher knows their stuff. Oh, she knows all right. She's the best, aren't you, Polvina? I guess we'll soon find out. You'll be fine. Have fun. Pretty good, eh? Esther, Tuberina, I hope you appreciate this favor for a long, long time. Absurd! Preposterous! What's going on? Shh! Foolish! That's my father. Brainless! And that's my father. Throughout Salacia, I am known as a reasonable man, your highness, but this is too much. You're being anything but reasonable, sir. Your idea is ridiculous. What is ridiculous is for me to listen to your idea any longer. Goodbye, sir. We finally agree on something. Goodbye to you, too. Esther, come along immediately. Uh, where to, Father? Home. Away from here. Verena, I must speak with you. Yes, Father. Will you excuse us, Polvina? Yes, Your Highness. I should be getting home anyway. Good. We'll see you soon, then. Whatever's going on here, I don't like it. So what did the King say to you? What were they arguing about? All I know is that I'm not allowed to see Tuberina anymore. You're what? And I'm not supposed to spend any time with Esther. They can't do that. What's their oh. argument got to do with us? They are our fathers, Polvina. We have to obey them. Then let's do something to help. Like? Like solve the argument between them. That's easy. The Shark King should say sorry to my father. Uh, don't you mean that your father should apologize to mine? Why should my father apologize? He's not the one with the stupid idea. <sighs> are you saying my father's ideas are stupid? Isn't it obvious? Your father started it with his stupid idea. He did not. Esther? Tuberina? If you think that my father started it, then that's the most stupid idea I've ever heard. Except for the stupid idea of listening to your stupid ideas. Then don't. I won't. Same here. What just happened? Take your seats, everyone. We've got a busy day ahead of us. Polvina, over here. No, Polvina, come here with me. Why are you sitting over there? Come back here. Near her? No way. To Barina? Near her? You must be joking. Polvina, when you're ready. Yes, Miss Marla. This is serious, Esther. You and Tuberina didn't talk all day. And I won't be talking to her until she apologizes to me. But... And the Shark King has to apologize to my father for his stupid idea. But it's not our argument. 
Let's leave it for the kings to sort out. The Starfish King is my father, and I've got to support him. I know that, but Tuberina is your friend. Our friend. I see. Now I understand. Understand what? You're taking Tuberina's side! No! I'm not taking any sides. I just want what's best. For me and my father? For you, me, and Tuberina. You and me, maybe, but not Tuberina. Never Tuberina! <sighs> this has to stop, Tuberina. And we can do it if we work together. Me work with Esther. She is your friend. Was my friend. <gasps> You can't mean that. I most certainly do. But even if you think she's not a friend anymore, you don't want her as an enemy, do you? No, I don't want her as an enemy. Good. At least that's a start. I don't want her as anything. She's out of my life now. But that's terrible. Esther doesn't deserve that. Oh, so that's it. What's it? You're on Esther's side. I'm on nobody's side. I just want us to be friends again. Oh, we are friends. The two of us will always be friends. But not Esther. <sighs> I can understand that wanting to support their fathers, Tenti. <laughs> but why do they have to take it out on each other? <laughs> <gasps> if only there was something we could do. She doesn't want to sit there. Here's your seat, Polvina, beside me. Both of you have seats right here. What's wrong with them? Mm, no thanks. I'm fine where I am. <sighs> hey, Polvina, come and play with me and Tuberina. Sure, Marcelo. Don't play with them, Paulina. Play with me and Esther. She's my friend, Marley, so she's playing with me. She'll have lots more fun playing with us. Let go! She's mine! No, she isn't! She's my friend! You let go! Both of you let go! Why can't we all play together? Not, Not with, with them! them. I'm not playing with anybody until we all play together. So you won't come and play with us? If you're not playing with us, you're playing against us. That's crazy. Suit yourself. Play with whoever you like, Polvina. If you won't be my friend, then I won't be yours either. Same here. Never again, Tenti. I'm never going to have another day at school like today. Tenti, could you deliver two notes for me? <laughs> and while you do that, I'll start packing. <laughs> no more tuberina around here. Come in. Hi, Tenti. <laughs> Thanks, Tenti. Bye. <gasps> no, she can't. Gummy, I told you not to play with that anymore. Esther gave that to me for my birthday. And we don't want anything around here that reminds us of her. Oh, Tenti, what do you want? That's for me? No! Polvina! You can't do this! Oh no! She's already gone! So you got a note too? Uh-huh. She can't go live with her grandmother. Especially not because of us. It's mostly your fault, you know. My fault? You're just as much to blame as me. That's not true. <gasps> it is so. Look, this is not going to bring Polvina back. So let's do something about it. Well, how long ago did she leave? Not long. We have to find her. Come on. We should have taken a carriage, Tanti. <laughs> this stuff's heavy. Oh, 
What? Oh, maybe this whole idea wasn't so great in the first place. We think it's a terrible idea. We don't want you to go, Polvina. Never, ever. I'm sorry, but I have to. But why? I'm sick of being in the middle of your argument. That's why. That's easy. We won't argue in front of you anymore. Yeah, we'll only argue when you're not around. I don't want you to argue at all. We have to. We have to support our fathers. But it's not your argument. You don't even know what it's about. Yes, yes we, we do. do. OK, what is it then? It's about, uh, the thing. What thing? Do you know that thing? What exactly is that thing? You delivered both messages, Tenti? <laughs> Good. Then they should be here any moment. I got your message, Paulina. Is Esther all right? Uh, Paulina, what's this about Tuberina being in trouble? What's the trouble? The trouble is you, your highness, sisters. And your argument. It nearly broke up our friendship. It did? We, uh... Most certainly wouldn't want that. Which is why we want to know what it's all about. It's about the Shark King refusing to admit that his idea is silly. My idea is not silly. But what is the idea? It's about the new children's playground. A playground? You're arguing about a playground? The best place for the new playground is near the Jellyfish Castle. The Jellyfish King and Queen agree. Everyone agrees. Everyone but the Starfish King. But, sir, I agree. It is you who disagree. Not at all, Your Highness. I agree with it completely. But so do I. And uh, I too. So this has all been a misunderstanding? You thought you disagreed about the playground? When you agreed about it the whole time. Well, uh, <laughs> it uh, does seem to be that way. How embarrassing. Perhaps we should let the Jellyfish King know. I think that might be a good idea. Amazing! Agreement. From now on, the arguments of our parents have nothing to do with us. Right! We have our own arguments. And as long as I always win them, everything will be fine. Are we going to let her get away with that? No way! Come on, let's get her! <laughs> Today. It's about the kingdoms of Salacia. How did they form? The legend says that Salacia herself created them. Each kingdom was designed to look after one species. A crab or a shark, for instance. This is so boring. Don't worry, it'll get interesting real soon. Huh? Whether the legend is true or not, no one can say. Let us look at the individual kingdoms. <laughs> Now it gets interesting. My talk today is about the kingdoms of Salacia. Huh? I've done that. What's the trouble, Tuberina? I'm, I'm missing some note cards, Miss Marla. Try without the cards and see how you go. But... But what? Nothing, Miss Marla. Um... <clears throat> the legend of Salacia is well known for its... knownness. <laughs> <laughs> but who, who formed the kingdom is an unknown history that no one knows about. <laughs> this is so cool. Things are the way they are because they are sort of. <laughs> now, everyone, let's have a little more support for Tuberina. Continue on, Tuberina. Um, I think I'm about done, Miss Marla. Really? Really? All right, then. Thank you, Tuberina. You're laughing at me, 
too? Uh, only a little. And it's not so much at you. It was what you said. It wasn't funny. No, it wasn't funny. <laughs> it was hilarious. Did you miss these, Tuberina? <laughs> <laughs> you did it. <laughs> I'll show them. Hey, Tuberina. Wait up, will you? That stuff at school today was really, really funny. And you took it like a good sport. What's the matter? You're not angry about it, are you? Aren't you talking to me? You don't mean, are you giving me the silent treatment? You're kidding me. You won't keep it up. You can't. You'll have to talk to me sooner or later. Hi, Tuberina. How are you? Uh, we've come over for lunch, like we planned, remember? We'll, uh, show ourselves in, right? Right. What's with Tuberino? It's like she's angry with us for something. Hey, in here. Has Tuberina said anything to you? Not so far. What's going on? She's angry with us for laughing at her at school yesterday. So she's not talking? Not a word. Nothing. <laughs> Zippo. This is unbelievable. I liked it at first, but now it's starting to freak me out. It's like living with a ghost. Hey, come on. This is Tuberina, remember? She loves to give orders. How can she do that if she doesn't talk? No way she'll be able to stay quiet. You're worrying over nothing, Marcello. Well, I hope you're right. Would you like to play something later, Tuberina? So is Gummy going to do all your talking for you? How long are you going to keep doing this? I think that's your answer, Esther. Enough already. If this is about us laughing at your school talk, then here is a chance to get your own back. You can laugh at us. See? Isn't this funny? Go on! Laugh at me! <laughs> she really is going to keep it up. This is serious. Hey, Marcello! Over here! Did anything happen last night? Did she say anything? Nothing. Not a word last night and not a word this morning. Here she comes. Good morning, Tuberina. Hi, Tuberina. See what I mean? She has to talk to somebody sometime. Let's just hope it's soon. Here's your assignment back, Tuberina. Very nice work. Thank you, Miss Marla. So you can talk. Does that mean it's over, Tuberina? Can we talk like friends again? To my mother and father and Miss Marla, I talk. But to my cousin and my friends, I say... Hey, there's nothing on this note. That's what she means. She has nothing to say to us. Are you ready? Let's hope this works. Tuberina loves Hoopal. No way she'll resist. Hey, Tuberina! Come on! Come and play some Hoopal! Oh! Oh! Almost. Try again. Here's the ball, Tuberina. Call for it and it's yours. Just one little call. Throw it anyway. <gasps> I'm sorry, Tuberina. I didn't mean to hit you. You can yell at us if you like. What now? We need a new plan. A totally new plan. I've been thinking. This sounds dangerous. Once we break her silent act, she can't go back to it. 
But how do we break it? Hmm, she's being very stubborn, so we'll need to be very clever. And I'm way ahead of you, because I've got something hugely clever. But we have to do it after school. Do we need anything? I've already got what we need. Bandages? Tuberina! Tuberina! It's Marcello. He was caught in a whirlpool and thrown against some rocks. He's badly hurt and needs help. Your help, right now! Oh. Oh. He's in such terrible pain. Poor Marcello. Tuberina, is that you? Oh, pain. Oh, it's getting so dark. So dark. He's going to overdo it. <sighs> I don't have long now. Before I go, I just want to hear you speak to me one last time. One last sweet goodbye for my loving cousin, Tomarina. Please let me hear your wonderful voice for the last time. Quickly, Tomarina. There's not much time I'm going. I'm going. The light. Oh, my you pinched me! I've been thinking some more. I don't know that I want to hear this. Okay, we lure Tuberina into a real whirlpool. She'll get caught in it, then scream out for help. That'll break her silent act. I told you I didn't want to hear it. We can't do that, Marcello. Why not? You faked being hurt in a whirlpool, but Tuberina could really get hurt. All right, so there's a risk to it. Anyone got any better ideas? Forget the whirlpool, but I think you're onto something with the scare part. They're up to something, Gummy. What are they planning? Whatever it is, it won't work. <laughs> Seriously trying to make us believe they're ghosts? We are waiting! Let's give them some of their own medicine. Tuberina, come to us! Is anyone here? Tuberina! silent. Hold on. Marcella, we're on to something. What did you say? I said, I'm sorry, but I'm giving up. Sorry? That must be it. We're sorry, Tuberina. We're both sorry about laughing during your talk at school. So am I. I'm sorry about laughing, and I'm sorry about taking your note cards. We're all very sorry. <laughs> It's about time. You're talking to us. I thought that was obvious. All we had to do was say sorry. That's all I wanted. It's you who couldn't work it out. Why didn't you just say something earlier? How could I? Oh, yeah. You wouldn't speak. That was the point. Two days? I never thought you'd go without talking for two days. It must have felt lonely. It was a bit, but it did give me some great thinking time. Thinking about what? This. What's that? My list of all the things I want to talk about with you. I'm so excited I can hardly wait, and I've got so much to say. Tuberina is sure going to make up for all that silence. Let's never make her silent again. Never, ever. Come on, you two. I want to start telling you my ideas. Coming. Coming. 